What's up, guys? And YK31 here. Madden 17. Playbook rankings. We have a new entry. We're going to be talking about the uh, Chargers playbook. We're in much salary cap action here. And in using the Chargers playbook, the best thing I can say about it is that it has very few negatives. It's reliable. It's a steady, reliable, simple playbook. What I mean by that is that it doesn't have a lot of sizzle. So when not having a lot of sizzle, that has an advantage of there's not a whole heck of a lot to screw up. This is a kind of book that I would recommend to someone who is struggling with reads. There's not a heck of a lot of overly um, exotic formations and route combos, so it's really good for just getting um, core fundamental reads down. Corner strike will always work against something. You just got to make the read. Shallow cross will always work. Mesh will always work. Smash will always work. And this is the that's the kind of stuff that this playbook is filled with. It's got a lot of shallow cross. It's got a lot of um, mesh and stick slants, um, flat slant, flat curl, flat, um, flat corner, and smash high low reads. And if you can get those down, if you're not someone that's good at that kind of stuff, you can move the ball very efficiently. His pistol set isn't useless. He's going to come out of, of it um, early. The, run ga the running game out of the pistol set that it has is not completely terrible. So you can get stuff done out of that. Split Y flex here is an example of what I'm talking about. You got flood, 6, 8, 9, hook, corner strike. Um, you have mesh and you have Y shallow cross. Simple, fundamental route concepts that have been around forever. And if you can get those down, you can do a lot of things. And you can branch out from there. I said it would head with a rare fork of a drop there. Even the Y uh, post corner isn't terrible. You got a deep comeback to the um, strong side. I hate that um, double move uh, corner post for that tight end. It's completely useless. But the um, post corner by the um, solo side receiver isn't terrible. You can snap that off at times. I do a lot of blocking and releasing because my first concern is always picking up edge pressure of that 6, 8, 9 hook. Uh, square in, post, um, street combo with an outlet to the flat. Their wide trip is nice. You got a play action screen. You got wide corner. And again, you're just reading levels with that. And again, you see me shift my formation. I'm just always very conscious of picking up any potential um, edge that may be coming. I suggest you do that too, or you'll be in for a bit of a headache. If you want to get a little bit snazzier, their gun bunch is not bad. I like that uh, San Diego bunch play. So it's basically a bench with a slot corner tied to it. What I don't like about their gun bunch is their run audible, or their only run play is a draw. I don't like that at all. This play is pretty nice. This is a post corner flat combo to the trip side, and he's playing hard flat, and I get the corner wide open. That's deep corner. Nice little twist on the uh, flood concepts that you see out of Gun Bunch on a common basis. Gun doubles is very nice. Again, you got double smash. You have um, shallow cross. I'm running. What am I running here? I think I'm just running. No, yeah, it's a shallow cross. Your typical shallow cross route combo that you see everywhere. Square in, tied to it. I'm audible to a streak, so I might have man coverage there one on one. And I just hit the shallow and play it safe. The completion good for three and it's second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because they also have I think it's in the Y wing. If a Y trips and a Y wing trips, and I think that's in the Y wing. Uh, I'm not gonna be in the, any of this formation here. I'm running the slot post here with that post out uh, combo I like. Um, again, I give bonus points, as always, when there are route combos that allow me to get a, a deep sideline route off. But I actually get fortunate there. I almost got chunked. But 
Um, going back to what I was saying, they have a play-action corner strike, and I don't recall seeing one in any other playbook. I thought that was really interesting. I don't think I use it this game, but I have used it, and it's you know really good. It's your typical corner strike out of trips that you see uh, pretty commonly, um, but with a play-action twist. If you catch some, a linebacker biting down, um, you got a lot of options there. I was just trying to make something happen. But, um, what surprised me about this play, but one of the things that surprised me in this play, but I thought it'd be more vertical than it is. The Chargers, in recent years, well, not really in recent, over the past decade, have had one of the, um, more aggressive passing attacks in the league. But I see a lot more shallow cross slant, uh, screens, than I would have thought. You're running flood. Again, the theme of this book is that make your reads, they're nice and simple, make the throw. There I was looking for something that I shouldn't have. Should have just taken the um, outlet to Mr. Woodhead there, but whatever. One of the drawbacks of doing this series is that I'm not in the playbook long enough to get super familiar with everything, so I kind of make mistakes holding the ball for a little bit too long at times. There's a nice little double square in route combo there, and a wide cr uh, corner or a sail concept to the right. That's one of my favorite plays in this playbook as well, in this wide corner. But affecting more stuff like that, um, square ins, deep corner routes, deep comeback routes, and aggressive route combinations down the field. And it's not really this playbook's cup of tea. It's kind of a mix of uh, ball control, passing with some down to field stuff, but not really a heavy abundance of either. Just kind of right there in the middle. This is a good old two by two smash. Again, nothing fancy. It's a man coverage there. I was going to, I was trying to hope that I had separation there on the right on the wide side, and his user Khalil Mack is um, giving me some problems, which I have to kind of be aware of. So I'm in long yardage here. I do the screen here. I was very happy to see that those linemen, the linemen and the tight end, get out with some urgency sometimes in some of these screen plays. That's not the case. So we're in a medium um, distance here. We're going back to the gun bunch. I'm not quite sure what I'm dialing up here. But the play action corner strike, I like the corner strike in bunch, but it's more of a uh, tight end wing set. This is a flanker drive concept. I'm holding the ball here and waiting for something to open up. I try to take a shot there with Tammy, but don't get it. I didn't feel comfortable with the C route there. It kind of broke a little bit late. It was playing over the top coverage, I can tell, by the way that the uh, zone on that side drifted back, and it was a bit of a tight fit in a catch and traffic scenario. Fourth and 11, I'm going to go to this halfback in play. You got a seam deep out concept to the left, and you have a square in seam to the right, and you have the back running an outlet. This is more, like I said, with the uh, double digs play, more what I was expecting. And that's really the playbook's biggest downside. It leaves you wanting more. Like I said at the beginning, there's very little that it screws up, which is a positive, but I just wish it had a little bit more sizzle. It's kind of like, you know what it's like? <laughs> it's like that girl that every guy knows. She's maybe a six, six and a half on a scale of ten in the looks department, but she's low maintenance, she's not a headache. She won't bring a whole heck of a lot of drama into your life. You think to yourself, okay, I can make this work. And then you go to the club and you see eights, nines, and tens, and you forget about it. That's this playbook in a nutshell. Good old-fashioned Y shall cross. Shall cross, it'll always work. You just got to make the read and throw it. That's this playbook. And that's, that's basically what this playbook is all about. The under center uh, doubles is okay. You see those atrocious route combinations there and that sluggo hitch and that other play. The single back bunch is interesting. It's a single back under center bunch with 11 personnel, one back, one tight end. It's not one back and a tight end and a full back or two tight ends. And that Z spot there is similar to the shotgun one, but the solo side receiver has an option route tag. But I'm not really a big fan of how it converts. It's very strange in its um, conversion rules, uh, depending on what coverage you're facing. But you, there, you can just run the spot, 
concept on the other side. And if you want, you can hot route the Souls Hatter's Keyword to whatever the heck you feel like, depending on what you feel you like feel like you're looking at. Short guards here, this power ice is pretty nice. Look at the little Danny Woodhead. Danny Woodhead is a nice little utility back. You know, I for I form strong is nothing special. Pretty standard stuff there. You know, Texas concept there, that angle concept, the protection slide's pretty decent. That curls flat play leaves a lot to be desired as far as how those routes actually are spaced. It looks good on the um, play call screen, but doesn't quite work the way it should as far as stressing a base defense horizontally. So I'm back on offense again, wood ahead again. You know, back in a little bit of everything. I'm in single back air, ace twins. Tight doubles is nice. Hit the play action cross. That wide receiver fade is a wasted play. I don't know what it's supposed to accomplish. But other than that, it's got some pretty good stuff in there. You got a little counter here, which I screw up and cut in way too early. Right, look at that wide receiver fade play. Horrible. Single back, single back, um, close crosses out of that formation. Gun strip tight end. They have shallow cross again. Play action shot wheels a goody. Quick slot flats nice. Play action um, corners. A play action cross. One of the stronger formations in this playbook here. I'm just running the shallow cross. I'll leave the back alone this time and hit the um, crosser there. So where I put this playbook after all of this, I put it right smack dab in that middle category. I can't put it in the Broncos, Bills, Bucks uh, category. It's a notch below that. It's not in that Bengals, Broncos, Bills, Bucks class, and it's not in the Browns, Cardinals class either. Just behind the Bucks is probably a little bit high as well. So I'm going to put it in that 14 to 20 range. And I'll put it right about in the middle of that range at 15. And we'll see how it does from there. But I feel like that's a, that's a safe spot for it for now. Solid book. It won't leave you overly frustrated. Not a lot of broken plays, not a lot of useless plays. It's got some, but, you know, it's not overbearing. But I think you'll also get bored of it pretty quick because it's it's simple. It's very vanilla, but, you know, not in a necessarily bad way. So that's pretty much the Chargers playbook. Next up will be the Chiefs. Hope you guys enjoy. Talk to you all later. Peace.